Hey everyone, this is John Robbins, and today is Wednesday, so that means it's time for our weekly Strive session. Strive, as you may remember, strategies to remain informed, strategies to remain victorious, strategies to remain empowered. And what we aim to do with our time together is provide you with some t tips, some techniques, some strategies on how you can live a life that uh, I think maximizes or capitalizes on the time that we have here while we are on earth. We speak specifically to those individuals who are in the body of Christ. We use biblical principles, we use spiritual principles. We, we share information that is consistent with scripture. And so we hope that it, it provides something that is of value to those of you who are believers. But if for any reason you're not a believer, I believe that there's a lot of truth to what we try to share. And so, and as always, we invite you to become a believer. I believe that you would talk to most people who have made that decision. They will tell you that it was one of the best decisions that they've ever made to relinquish the responsibility of trying to pay or earn their way into heaven and to depend on the finished work of the cross, the finished work of Christ Jesus. So I always invite you to to make the decision to become a believer. But even if that's not where you are right now, I still believe that we may be able to share information with you through these types of settings that may be of some value to you. So again, strive, strategies to remain informed, victorious and empowered. And each week we try to have a thought that I think may make some sense to somebody. And so our thought for today is, can you follow instructions? And um, if you say, well, well, John, I guess it depends on one who's giving me the instructions and uh, are they in a format that I can understand? And so can I? Yeah, I can. Will I? That's a different story. So my question is, can you follow instructions? But a little bit later, I may ask you, will you follow the instructions? So where are you going, John? So I was, I'm a, I, you all know that I'm a big nature buff. Some of you all know this. I really love to watch the National Geographic. I love to watch the Discovery Channel, the Animal Planet, all of those programs. I love to watch them. And I'm amazed at how in those in the, in the animals, in their DNA, there's an encoding that enables that animal or that plant to just follow a natural course of life. Um, I, you may have heard me say before, that if you've ever watched animals that are born out on the plains, in the deserts or in the jungle, wherever they are, those animals don't go through a 12-step learn how to run program. When that when a uh, baby zebra's fa uh, fawn is born, an antelope or elephant or whatever, those animals within a matter of, in many cases, in a matter of an hour or less, those animals better be up and, and, and making good effort to try to keep up with the rest of the animals in their herd, because if they don't, they become uh, potential prey. The, you, the, the predators, they, they tend to know when there's going to be the animals who are getting ready to birth. And so they uh, they kind of <laughs> congregate around them and they, they're looking for easy prey, work that they don't have to put a lot of effort into and still get a, a, full, a filling meal. So encoded or embedded in them is what they need to survive. And you've heard, again, you've probably heard me say this before, but what about humanity? We are probably the only being who is completely dependent. And I know that the, uh, the elephant is with their, their families for years. Some of them stayed together for the lifetime. I know that the lions, they, they help each other. They, so there's a lot of teaching and training that goes on. But a lot of what they do is instinctive. We, on the other hand, we have to be taught many of the things that we need in order to survive. And the challenge for so many of us is that we uh, are often challenged with following in instructions. Somebody will come and tell us something that we that they know is for our, in our best interest, and we'll challenge them on it. We'll ask the question, well, why? <laughs> why do I have to do that? Why can't I do it another way? And there's some value in that. I really believe that there are times when we should challenge the status quo 
I think that many of the inventions that we experience, many of the improvements in technology and in science is because someone asked the question, why? Why are we doing it this way? Why would not we consider doing it some, uh, is there a better way that it can be done? Can we improve on the process? I think those are valid questions, okay? but it all starts at a certain place. There are some basic instructions that we have to be able to follow. And if we don't follow those instructions, then we position ourselves for destruction. And I'm not talking about the ultimate destruction where there's the loss of life and limb and all that stuff. But I mean, we don't get the outcomes that we desire. And so a lot of us, we choose not to follow the instructions. We choose to be adventurous. We choose to be risk takers. And I celebrate those of you who do that. I too, I, I, if people ask me, I think I'm a rebel. I think I'm a, I'm, I'm a rebel to the extent where if I sense that something that could be done better, or if I sense that something doesn't make sense, I will ask questions why. I will look around and I will, I will kind of scratch my head. Am I the only one who's seeing this? This isn't working. There may be a better way to do what we're doing. So that's my DNA. That's kind of how I'm hardwired. But but I can follow instructions. And I will. I will follow the instructions. I'm reminded of, reminded of the scriptures. And um, this is after, this is in the book of Joshua. This is after Moses had died. And, and, and God told Joshua, he says, look, you, I've given Moses the law. Okay, now I want you to learn this law. I want you to meditate on it day and night. And I want you to observe to do. I want you to follow the instructions that are in that law. And he said, if you do that, then you will make your way prosperous and you will make your way successful. He says, Joshua, if you can follow the instructions, you can experience the success that you want. You can have the prosperity that you want. But if you don't follow the instructions, then Joshua, it's not going to work out well for you. And so the question was, Joshua, he said, okay, that's what we're going to do. He, he asked all the people who were following him. He said, hey, look, guys, there's two ways that we can live this thing. We can live the way that the people did back on the other side where our ancestors were. Uh, or we can live the way that the people who we're, the, the land that we're getting ready to take. He says, we got two choices. We can follow the instructions or we can oh, disobey the instructions. He said, but I'm going to follow the instructions. He says, for me and my house, we're going to follow the instructions. We're going to live according to what God said. And I believe that's where we are. I believe that we've been given some instructions on how as believers, especially as believers, how we can live this life and live it in, in the fullest we, the, the scripture says that we can see the Lord in the land of the living. I don't think we have to wait till we get to heaven for us to enjoy the goodness that's in this life. Now, understand that we're going to have some difficult times, but even in the difficult times, there are some instructions that have been provided on how we can navigate. We aren't always supposed to be trying to get the upper hand, not according to the instruction. The instruction says, hey, be at peace, live peacefully. The instructions say that we aren't to hold grudges. Okay, he says, let let them have the upper hand. If that's gonna, if that's what it takes to resolve the situation, let them have the upper hand. He and, and there are so many other things. He said, if somebody has wronged you, he says, forgive them. How many times? Two times? No, not two. Three times? No, not three. He says, seventy times seven. If your brother offends you, forgive him. He says, love, love unconditionally. That's the same love that I'm giving to you. That's how, what I want you to give to others. Okay, love your neighbor. Well, who is my neighbor? The people that you come in come into contact with, they're your neighbors. It, it, what am I saying? There are some instructions that have been given to us that will allow us to live in victory. Remember, strive. Strategies remain informed. The instructions are there. They provide us with the information that we need. My people are destroyed because they don't have knowledge. Well, the knowledge is there. We, it's been made available to us. So strategies to remain informed, strategies to remain victorious. There's a way that we can live this life here on earth and be not the victim, but the victor. We can live victorious in how many situations? In all things, we, can, we are overcomers, more than conquerors. We are triumphant. In all things, we can live victorious and empowered. And I will give you power. 
power to tread on serpents, power to take up deadly poisonous things, power. I will give you power over all the evil of this world. Okay, but can you follow the instructions? Will you follow the instructions? I was doing this um, before I came on. I was I was researching, and I, I and I, I as a trainer, I know that people have differing learning styles. Okay, so the way that the instructions are introduced to individuals, the way that one person will hear and receive and, and then respond accordingly will most likely be different than the way that other people will. And there are three, there are predominantly three learning styles. There's probably more, but there are three that are tend to be um, identified as the learning styles for most people. Okay, one is people learn by what they hear. Well, guess what? That's how we get our faith according to the scriptures. Faith comes by hearing. But what are we hearing? Where are we building that faith? Faith that comes from hearing and hearing the word of God is the faith that will allow us to live victoriously. Okay. So one, one is an auditory method of, 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 um, of learning. The other is a visual. The other is a visual. Okay. I've written the law down for you. Med meditate on it. Observe to do it. Write it on your foreheads. Write it. Look at it when you're laying down. Look at it when you're getting up. Look at it when you're going down the road, when you're traveling to your destinations. Re rehearse this law. Read this law. Okay? So you got to hear it, and then you can read it. And then the other is what we call a tactile or kinesthetic or by doing. Okay, the three different learning styles, the hearing, the seeing, and the doing. Paul says, guess what? I will give you an example. Christ says, I will give you an example. I will, I will model for you so that you can see me doing the things that will allow you to experience the same victory that I have. Challenges, yes, you're going to have challenges. We all are going to have challenges. We're all going to have challenges. Okay? I, I wish I could tell you something different. In fact, I could tell you something different. I could tell you that every day that you that you are alive on this earth, you will have no opposition. There'll be no conflict. Everybody, all your lights will always be green. <laughs> you drive down the road and you won't have to run into any stop signs, no detours. I mean, you have smooth sailing. I could tell you that, but it wouldn't be truthful. It would be contrary to what the scriptures say. There's going to be times that you're going to, you're going to question why you're here. You're going to question, do you want to remain here? You're going to question, is any of it worth it? But, there's also a way for us to live informed, victorious, and empowered. Okay. The instructions are there for us. And, and he said, I will actually put it in your heart. Okay. I'm not going to require that you just read it all the time, but I will put it in your heart so that you will know me and that you will obey me. The, the psalmist says that he took the word and he hid it in his heart to make sure that he would not sin against God, that he will not transgress the law. So follow the instructions. They're there. They're there for us to allow us to live victoriously. Can you follow instructions? Will you follow instructions? All right. Hey, this is John with the Strive Session. Our time is out. And we try to do this in 15 minutes or less. We try to get in and get out. But I do hope that, that you will at least give some thought to what is your style of learning? And then put forth effort to make sure that you are putting in what it takes to get out of this what you need. Okay, You will make the deposits into your life so that you can make the withdrawals for the life and live the life that you want to live. Um, I, you all know how I, I love to end. Uh, if you've been around this week, you've not had anyone to come into your life to affirm you, to tell you how wonderful you are, to tell you how great you are, to tell you of what you bring to their existence, to their circle, to remind you just how worthy you are. Let me be the one to do so. Okay, you all know it. This is this is my statement. I believe that I've been placed on this earth to communicate this message. Okay, I want to remind you that today, tomorrow, and forever, as long as you're breathing air on this earth, okay, you you are important. All right. Y'all be blessed. We'll see you another time.